Hello, hello, all. Hello, hello. You're disconnected. So I just want to start, Trisha. Here I'm seeing you had uh, signed up. Um, did you? I just added a link in Patreon. So if you are there already, you can still just pop on. The link is there. I did send the email out. So sorry if there was. Uh, but anyway, I added the link on Patreon, and I did email you if you had put it under the post there. That's where I kind of was communicating with people on Patreon. Well, folks, welcome, welcome. If you are like wondering what's going on, why there are four ladies here today. So this is a mini class that we talked about for the last month, maybe. So if you are in a Patreon group, you probably got notification that today is the mini class that Marlin is hosting. Marlin of Montreal Confections, and we're going to, uh, she's going to show you how to decorate this um, dress cookie with uh, denim, um, uh, what would you call it, corset, jacket, jacket? I, I was calling it like a vintage outfit. Vintage outfit, okay, sorry, I totally messed that up. Fine, I'm so just saying, like, I thought it looked so today, so today, that's the plan, and also, uh, if you are part of the Patreon, you have access to... Uh, template and also uh, prep videos so those ladies here that you start to see june and sally so they will be joining marlin and they will be decorating with us live i am still checking out all the comments so don't worry we we won't neglect you hello everyone cynthia joseph kathy trisha so um, if you did purchase it on coffee, the full class is there. So there's the link at the top of the supply list to the full class that was pre-recorded. So, okay. All right. Um, so today. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving, loving it. it. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Love it. Hello. Um, hello, ladies. Love it when you do the group classes. Thank you. So Sally, are you ready? June, you ready? June's getting Hello. a little delay with her audio. Yes. But we'll... we'll uh, it comes up, June. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the technical issues, but um, well, it will be fine. So, guys, if you have any questions in regards to decorating or, you know, things we are doing, just pop them in the comment section. Oh, June lost sound. Lost sound. Oh. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, hopefully we can... Um... So, June, if at the bottom there, you can see settings, okay? If you click settings underneath, there's uh, an audio option, and you can um, pick the audio there. If you look at... Do you see settings at all? At the bottom? Can you... If you can't hear me, June, you can put your Facebook on maybe on another screen so you can hear what's going yeah, on uh, put, the, put the headset uh, put your earplugs in and earplugs uh, so i'm sorry headset in. We're, gonna, we're gonna have to Gatlinburg. we have somebody from Gatlinburg. oh i've been there several times i, I is tennessee right tennessee pigeon forge heather so, sorry Love june it. that's uh, you know that's the joys of these uh, tech technical issues all right so this is the project so there are four cookies the template and actually the, the whole video will be released tomorrow on patreon if you uh, want to still make the project and so today i had given all the instructions we're starting off uh, at a certain like a, at a certain like pro the preliminaries have been done and everybody was informed I just want to highlight this particular area on the dress. So we're only working on the jacket and the skirt during the live. And if you see, these are two cookies, but because of the jacket overhang, there's a bit of an overhang over the skirt with the icing. Well, it hides the seam between them. So it doesn't look like a puzzle. It kind of like um, fits together and it hides that little seam. So June, do we have you now? Can you hear us? Hi, can you hear us? She's can muted. Hear you. Okay, there she is. Okay, excellent. I'm good. Perfect. I can hear you. Awesome. <laughs> That's terrible. You prepare and then this happens. Ah. 
All right, so I'm going to Technology. do a little video dance here. Marlon, are you going to uh, show some of the details of the project? Well, I'm just going to show a few. So the, the steps that were done in advance, the June and, and Sally, I'm just going to show. So we had obviously made our cookies. They're hand-cut cookies. And then the preliminary on this particular step was we added with a stiff icing, a 102, or you could even do it in a 104, a slight ruffle on the edge of the cookie. And this is kind of to look like a bit like a, uh, you know, little bit of fancy underneath the skirt that is rested on top. So you let this dry a little bit because I am using water to smooth it. And so that moisture, you know, could cause this icing to just get overly wet. So you just want to let that brush embroidery dry a bit. And then I'm just flooding and letting this dry. So the lady did this already because we need this to be uh, dry so that when we pipe on top, the icing, um, you know, can. and then I'm, they were also added their guidelines with their airbrush. You can do it with a marker, whatever you, you know, you have your favorite technique. And then the other step that needed to be done for today was for the jacket was you add the guidelines on, and this is it, the, you cut your own stencil you add the guidelines on the projector. And then there's just like a thin layer of icing added inside the jacket just to create like a little bit of um dimension like so that it looks like it's like uh, not all one layer so this is the inside of the jacket so again this dries and then we'll be able to pipe so these are like the steps that we did before so that we be ready for today now and then i'm just re-airbrushing the guidelines on so that's it all right so let's look at oh no we're gonna do it not a video so let me turn on my camera. Let's, yes, you can do the dance for me. And okay, I'm, I'm going to try to do the dance for you there. Thank you. You're such a good dancer. I'm pleasure. My, my, I'm pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> so you. hands, okay. hands in charge of the, of the of your comments or questions. So please. Yes. Oh, to uh, no, Amber is not here. She'll be back next week, I believe. Julie, hello, everyone. So every everyone, hello Susan. Also, so you're just waiting along with, but you are also making some flower bouquets. What temperature should I put my oven on to bake uh, cookies? I'm what sorry. Are, what what oven temperature do you use to bake your cookies? I bake them at three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah, usually. One hundred and fifty Celsius. If anyone is asking. I'm wondering. So again, I just want to reshow the photo, the, the 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 thing about the photo that I showed. So you see these cookies. If I show it there, you see how the seam gets hidden by the ruffle. So the ruffle is a little bit angled up. You see, because if it's flat, you look at it here, and you see like it's a bit got like a bit of a of a like that like a flower, you know, like a flower petal. It's a bit so that when they come together. They don't, you know, like it hides that. I really like that aspect of the puzzle mm -hmm. because sometimes there's like a really big gap and it doesn't look as, as seamless, okay? So you want to look for your petal tip, the width of that. So if I had done a 102 or a 104, you can just do a bigger wiggle if you need to fill in the area. But you see, it's about the width of my piping tip, the cookie here. And so you want an icing that's on the stiff side here so that that can, can kind of hold up, right? So I've added a general little line here just to know where that's going to be cut. And then the rest is smooth icing. So it's two consistencies on the, on the cookie here, okay? And so I'm just, fat edge is towards the top here. And then the narrow edge is towards the bottom. And you... You're going to let it kind of go a little bit past the cookie, but you want to angle your piping tip a little bit up. You don't want to be hugging the cookie. You want to angle it a little bit up so that that little ruffle will be able to hide what, like I was explaining, you see? So I'm just doing a wiggle. So it's just didn't stick. So I'm just going to start again because the cookie is like a bit dry. So sometimes it doesn't adhere, especially with the stiff icing. And I'm just doing a wiggle and letting it kind of hang off. The, these cutters, where are these cutters from? These, this is hand cut. 
And you have a template in your coffee? I did put it in coffee, but it's it's uh, in the group on Patreon. And it's in yours too, yes. right? Yes, it's also in my Patreon. So you see now I'm using, uh, you can use a paintbrush to either flatten it down. Uh, here I've got a hand, like my boo-boo stick handy. So I'm just trimming it so that when I come in and add the smooth icing here, and you don't have to hurry because there's going to be a belt hiding the seam. But you can see here how it's up. So I'm using the freshly iced cookie, and you can see how it's going to hide the little seam there on the skirt, okay? So if, if it doesn't work out and it's not nice, you can just scrape it off and do it again. And, it, and if the seam is visible, it's not a huge deal, but it's just a, a trick. Like there's a lot of platters now and stuff. Flower Mother's Day is coming. So if you're doing a little bit of a puzzle thing, this is just a little option if you want to make your seams a little bit more invisible. Ju so Ju can you hear? Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear. She's got a bit of a delay, June, but, from my... Yeah? Okay. Can you, hopefully, hopefully she can hear. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, garden. I love the, the sound of that. That's a beautiful blue. Yes, that's a good question, maybe. How did you achieve this blue? It's just navy blue. Oh, like, navy blue. No. So they don't have navy blue because it's not a color everybody kind of gets. It's not it's not like the top like you know color. Well so you can you can you um, add just if you get the, the gels that attain the high like the darkest color, well you can always use those gels to make lighter colors, just add less of it. So it kind of gives you a but wider I mean, if they don't have the the navy blue at all. Well, in the lives that I've watched, Amber makes it, and she puts black in her blue. Yeah, black, yeah, like royal blue and black. I would do. Yeah, yeah. That's how I make it. So now them. you're using the same. It's the same color, just a, a runnier consistency. And now I'm just doing the rest of the jacket. And you don't have to. Sometimes the seam has to. You have to do it quickly. But in this particular case, there's a belt, so you don't have to worry so much about the seam. So we're just basically filling in the whole jacket that's left, except we're not filling in here. This part here, we're outlining those outlines there, and we're going to just, this is the inside of the jacket. And so this, this is the number two? Maybe. Yeah, because I'm flooding, and it's a little, I'm not doing a three just because it's a bit detailed and stuff. Maybe if I wasn't on camera, I'd do a three to go faster but I just don't want to screw up in front of you guys. So I'm using a bit of a smaller tip and I have only one cookie. So if you had to work a lot of them, I'd probably do a three. So you're just outlining and flooding and you want to leave this in here, this gap uniced just with that base layer. And so it looks like there's like, you know, the inside of a jacket. So if it was laying on your bed, you know, the, the back of it is a little bit deeper in just to give it a little bit more um, relief and dimension instead of just like a one-dimensional thing. And so when you're icing and you want all the, the outline to be healed into the, like the base layer, you have to work somewhat fast because that outline does start drawing quite quickly. And so if you don't want a separation between that outline and your flood icing, you're using dual consistency. You do have to work relatively quickly, depending also on your climate, because that can speed up the drying if you live in a really dry climate. Hello, Deborah. Thanks for joining us. So today we have a mini class that Marlon is teaching with lovely ladies. June and Sally are joining us, and they're decorating along with Mar. So if you if you want, you can stab it or you can pick it up. And just this rocking helps. If your icing is not healing on its own, that little agitation helps. And then you can just heal the stabbing. The stabbing just makes it so that you don't have to pick up the cookie. If you've iced the cookie really close to the edge, sometimes you can end up damaging it. So if you do the stabbing, 
well, you just avoid like kind of picking it up. You see how it's so close to the edge. If you pick it up, you could end up just kind of creating a dent in your icing. You see? Well, see, Bobby, thank you. That, that just to, we're, we were hoping to have a little bit more interest, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's, there's no, that, that doesn't seem to be uh, enough interest. And I realize it's easier for evenings and stuff, but there's a time difference for Han. She's like, what time is it right now? Eight, nine? It's uh, 7, uh, 19. Oh, with the time change, well, before the time change, it was later. Yeah, six, it's six, six hours. Yeah, it's, it's the... We are six hours ahead here. Okay, so we're just going to set the cookie aside when you guys are done. We're going to let it crust over because we're adding here. Let me bring back the other one. So for the second bit, we're adding here. You see again, so this is that background area. And then we're going to be adding this kind of collar and then the belt. Oh, and this cuffs. So and this. The beaded, the, that's a nice detail. I like that on the, the beaded. This? No, no, no. This? Well, Yes. Oh. So yeah, it's just to make it look a little bit more interesting, you know, like, uh, oh, it's 9 a.m. in Alaska. Your day's just starting. Thanks for joining. Yes. Good morning, coffee. Good morning for the modular. It's international live, so there's all kinds of different time. time uh, yes, guys, where are you? We always, I, it's always fun to see. Last time we had such an international viewers, which was really great from all so, over the world. Yes, it, it, I'm always surprised though. Sometimes a country will get popped in. I'm like, oh my gosh. So um, the thing about, I made these blue and yellow, but you could obviously make them any color you like. If you're making them maybe for Mother's Day, you can pick your mom or your special, the special person in your life and make them whatever color that, you know, you think they would like. So normally when I add guidelines, I don't add dark brown guidelines. This is for you guys that maybe, um, you know, just it was a question of, of visibility. It is quite a dark contrasting color, not ideal. So take note, normally I do like to airbrush or add my guidelines in a color that isn't so harsh if it, you know, if they're left peeking out. So here's my tip list bag. I'll tell you recently I've taken to starting to use my old methods back again. Back in the day, you know, we use that thicker plastic, the coupler and the piping tips. I have been going back to that a little bit, trying to reduce the amount of plastic because, um, the tipless bags, I find them difficult to wash, so I tend to throw them out. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to do, if, you know, if I can, rinse out a bag and, you know, cut down, putting some in the trash one week. So if you see me in a video, you wonder why I'm using a piping tip. That's why. It's just trying to reduce the amount of plastic I'm putting in the trash. So when you're cutting your, your tipless bags, you flatten it. The seam, you can see it. It's difficult on camera, but you'll see there. And so ideally that seam is on top and you're cutting straight across. You don't want to have your scissors angled and the kind of scissors you use matters. You don't have to get fancy scissors, but they have to be sharp because obviously if you're cutting and you're hacking up the plastic, well, you're not going to have a nice opening and you're going to, you know, get wonky icing coming out. It's impossible to get a nice line if you've hacked up the end of your piping bag and then you can test it. And you see it's about a two size. So um, the Kathy has a question. Sometimes I see you use a piping bag, and mm -hmm. then, but with no coupler. You don't need a coupler to keep the tip snug in the piping bag? No, you don't need the coupler. The coupler, what I, why I use a coupler is because the coupler allows you to change the piping tip. Sometimes you'll want to maybe come in and, and do a little detail well, then you'd have to prep another bag, but the coupler allows you to just easily, quickly switch it out, or you get a clog, easily take out the piping tip, run it, you know, under the sink, and that's the difference between having a coupler and no coupler. Yes. Heather, I'm feeling it, too. Are you fighting in that? Yes, I'm feeling it. 
So if we look at the one that's done, so this isn't a crazy design. So what, what's happening here is we're trying to, like if you imagine these, dress, these skirts that are, were all kind of pleated, so the pleats go in and out, right? It's like a, it becomes like very, uh, there's a lot of movement. The, the Snow White vibe, right? Uh, yeah, I can see where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is maybe a modern a Snow White. Uh, <laughs> And so that's it. So it's just now you're picking which one you want to do. So you're alternating, leaving one with nothing and then one with like to look a little bit more raised. So I'm looking here. I'm realizing that I uh, did a mirror like because they're hand cut. So I flipped it. I didn't realize, but it doesn't matter. See, the pleats are like, oh, yes. mirrored it, but it doesn't matter. It, it, oh. it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making, like, in case you're noticing the, the difference. So here, like, let's say you were trying to cut to on uh, time. You could leave it like that. I don't hate it. Just would you it. say that airbrushing it, like, I would think, like, you airbrushed it darker for yeah. the guys. But then once it's, like, done, once it's bleeding done, it almost, like, when there's some of that brown peeking out, it gives yes. you extra dimension like give it a little bit more like of the of the sh like a shaded look i was thinking about adding like a fade of airbrush but so now you see i've left this here at the level and so i'm skipping one and so you're just skipping one without one section so you're looking at it like basically like like vertical line so i'm not filling here filling here not filling here filling here not filling here filling here so you see it, ladies, you're just alternating down, up, down, up. So it's really just. And what is the consistency of this icing? Because these are quite narrow. It's pretty so thick. This, yeah. So this is, you don't want to have an icing that's super easy to, to heal because the runnier the icing is, the flatter it dries. So if you want to make sure that your sections stay nice and raised well you're going to need a, an icing that's on the stiffer side but because these areas are so small they're generally pretty easy to heal up if you want you can do that skeleton technique for me i've not had great success with that technique i find that my icing kind of like hugs those skeleton lines that i add and i tend to see them on the completed project Sometimes, yes, I agree. Sometimes that can be, yes, that can happen. Oh, well, yeah. I also find, like, if you want to really smooth the icing, you know, and you forget, you go too deep, and then you distribute the, that support line. So that doesn't always work. So here I'm taking it all the way to the edge where that little ruffle was, that brush embroidery, and I'm piping. So I'm just filling in like I say those things. so this is egg yolk or just yolk yellow by Americolor it's like a little bit warmer than the electric I find the electric doesn't really look like um, yeah. like a color people would wear maybe like for certain projects but it's not like conventional clothes yellow if you know what I mean or muted yeah more like muted and just yes i don't know it's electric you always use electric yellow i don't usually use just lemon yellow and then yeah i will mute it down with depending on the project with ivory or or a little bit of orange you can just see what it does to the color if you want to experiment with different coloring techniques are you guys okay, Sal? Are you good? June, how is it going? I don't know if June can hear us. I think she did. I think she does. So you can see now, you see I'm alternating. And, and again, once this is done, you can experiment. Like we, we looked at the airbrushing um, last week and the week before. Like you can, you know, test out airbrushing, like, you know, tones of yellow before and then, it, you know, because obviously inside the pleat is darker or you can paint it, you know, experiment to see. These projects are fun to just, you know, try different things. So this one here, I'm actually just doing a line. I'm not doing a, like a mm -hmm. section. I'm just adding a line. 
the next one here is a section. This no, design, you, you could, if you wanted, paint on little flowers, dots. I'm thinking yeah. even sending sheet or sending sugar or something. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if the sanding sugar would work with regards to the pleats. It might make it a little bit hard. Like it's hard to pipe on a sanding sugar base to get a nice line. But, oh, but then like the pleats would be the scent like that you would like lightly dusted, but I don't know if that would work because that might look too bulky then. Maybe disco dust instead. Yes. Anybody have fun plans for the weekend? Um, I don't, but I realize next weekend is Mother's Day. Oh, hello, Pamela. Hello. hello. Oh, hello. hello. Thanks for joining. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Okay. All right. So, so we've, got, we've gone through the process of making the, the jacket. And now Marlon is doing, it. obviously, this is the skirt. So guys, if you are just joining us and are wondering what are we working on today, this is a live mini class. And all these wonderful ladies here in these small windows here are decorating along with Mark. And um, they are all patrons, Patreon subscribers, where they, they found the template and all the steps that they needed to do before the class. So if you are not subscribed to our Patreon, you can, uh, you can subscribe. This is Marlon's Patreon. And it's easy to find. You can... You don't have to uh, copy all of that. You can just use Patreon, Montreal Confections in a Google search, and it is, it's probably going to come up. And I also have a Patreon group, and that's a subscription-based group. It's a monthly subscription. So you can see, now it looks a little, like this one here, I find looks more right there, but the you can see the point of those um, airbrushed kind of lines. It was just mm -hmm. guidelines for you guys to be able to see. And let's say this does, like you you were working on it on at home, you could come in with alcohol perhaps and mute it, you know, activate the airbrush color mm -hmm. and have, like have it be a little bit more um, like watercolor-ish. Oh, hi, Susan. It's prom yes. weekend. Oh. But like cool. you said, you wouldn't normally use the this now you would use color that is not so harsh. This is just for the purposes so folks could really see, right? Yes, yes. You would use uh, some uh, like a different color, but I agree. The water, the uh, activating it with alcohol would be great to give it to really achieve that. that. Help it to. Um... Oh, Rachel, you're doing your Lamas classes. Well, that's exciting. That's fantastic. Yes. It's. Oh, it's prom weekend. Oh, how fun. Oh, Heather, you are, oh my God, we love Great Smoky Mountains. There is a, oh, fun. So pretty. Well, I was thinking, and I might try it on this one here. Let me just get my airbrush. So how is it doing, Sally? June, are you? Keeping up with Mar, I see Sally's working on the dress. Is my brow not? <laughs> oh, and June is awesome. I'm gonna try. Oh, so you're doing different colors. You are doing different colors. It will be really pretty. I will look for the pictures, June. Oh, you see, it's of course. Let me get another. Oh, it, was, it wasn't clean, huh? It was spitting. I had it sitting yeah. there. A hard time. So this is what happens. You know, you have to. It's airbrushes. It sometimes will. It's better 
you always recommend right to test on a paper towel prior going because you just never know what's going on inside of the airbrush. It has sometimes mind on its own. Yeah, exactly. Alana also loves your paint, June. And it was really pretty. I just want to see if I add the brown a bit coming from the top and then I add. Uh, I guess. There. See now it's got a darker like area, but then if I come in and um, I'm totally like a, a, a snow white, totally snow white for me, those colors. So this could be like a snow white project also. Use that to inspire you guys. Well, some uh, like people love their whatever princess that they loved in their childhood up till their adults. They awesome. still love them. So exactly. So this could be like just change up the colors. Tinkerbell is what green. Just think about green. Green and like lots of sparkle, I think. And what do we have? We have um, Snow White and then we have Bell. Bell. So Bell is also yellow, right? That would be yellow. Cinderella. Cinderella, that's blue, right? I'm really out. This is like, I have to like, I'm all the princesses. So what else is there? G um, Green one, what's the green one? Anyway, so it's I, I think it's applicable for all the princesses, really. So I just want to, like, oh, you see, like, now here I had added the shading, and you can do it, like, not as harsh as that, but you can have, like, if you dilute the brown, like I've, I've mentioned in the past, where you, like, dilute the alcohol before, with alcohol, the airbrush color, and you see then you'd have, like, the shading inside the pleats. Yes, Jeremy. Welcome aboard. Yes, that's June and Sally. You recognize them, so that's great. So here you can play with the, the shading inside the pleats, you see? And June was mentioning for her color, she wanted to add a little poodle to her skirt. To give it even more of like the vintage vibe. Or you could do, what would they do? Like school stuff was usually also on their skirts. Like wasn't school letters or something sewn on them or something like that? So I can't wait to see all the finished, uh, finished projects. So don't forget to send, that, send them to us or share them with us. I'm going to move that and we'll go back to the jacket. All right, so let's look at the actual, like, uh, done one and the one we're working on. So the brown is the, the, the belt, and you can do the buckle in icing, but they sell uh, sequins, and they're um, already painted gold, and they, are, they come in uh, different sizes. You can get these at Michael's, um, and there's here I have big ones and small ones. And they make great little little um, metallic elements. If you make a purse or like this for a belt buckle or I mean, uh, just whatever you can imagine. Like, let's say maybe tools. Like if you're making a hammer, they, they come in silver as well. You know, like when the tools are put together, there's like little. Not uh, 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 you know what I'm talking Or you could do nails. Let's say you do. Nicks? Is it a nick? No, what is it? I, I have no idea the terms of, of tools you know, there. But. Something. but you could also, if you don't have these or you can act like find them, you could use your, or you could make them with a stencil. It's not as, these sprinkles are pretty thick that Marlon is using and they are really like very nice to use and so convenient. They're a cute detail. Oh, we do have a few questions. Mary Jean is asking, how big is this cookie when you put the two pieces together? So have you measured? 
probably like uh, six or seven inches, probably seven, I'd say. So now it's the brown icing for the belt. And this is like, it, it has to heal because it's leather. You don't want a wrinkly belt. Maybe you do, but not for this project. I don't want a wrinkly belt. And so I'm just filling it in. And then while it's wet, I'm attaching my little, um, my little sprinkle, like I say, but hypothetically, if you don't have the these little like rivets, I think Mary Jean called it, um, you can actually wait for this to dry and then come in and do the little extra dot in brown on top. And then brown is a great base actually to paint. So you'll easily be able to paint with your gold edible paint on top of the brown. It's a good background brown for when you're doing... Um, brown like uh as your gold background so yellow works brown red actually works as an as a nice background also do a, um a, a regular buckle too if you want if you oh can. yeah you can do whatever you can put a heart you there there yes a little something uh, yes. by the way I, I use the 31r you know that little tip that is uh flat oh yeah your little belt one yeah so i just did that Perfection. Yes, that's great. Yeah. We could also use the basket weave and cover it up yes. partially. With yes, I mean, tape and to, yeah, it's so you, Through your sprinkles, maybe you have sprinkles that would work. There's some nice flower sprinkles. Exactly. A star might work. So Kathy is asking to dilute airbrush color. Just add a drop of alcohol to the airbrush cup that already has a few drops color up in it. Is that usually, how you No, usually I'll actually do it in a, a little uh, paint palette just so I can see it. What like Because if you put it in the airbrush first, the actual airbrush, and then you put the alcohol, well, that alcohol, the, the color is in that little like hole. And so it's not going to be equally mixed. It's going yes. to be um, like, you know. No, what I do, like, if, because I, I actually have done like something like that. So I will then hold the uh, opening on the gun and I will pull back. The oh, yes. Make it mix. Like, it. Like, make, like, mix it. But, you know, it may work, you know, for certain things or it may not. So you have to be careful. Thanks, Diane. You, so now. I decided to add just for some interest here on the edges of the of the sleeves a little cuff so i'm just kind of angling it sort of pointed so that it's wider towards the outside and then i'm immediately flooding it so that i get like the look of a little cuff and once it was um crusted i used that brown icing and added like a little button but you want to wait till it's dry so that it'll look like up you know on top of it not melted inside and you want to get it to heal so there's my little cuff on the edge of my jacket you see and what would you say is the portion of alcohol to airbrush color what well it all depends how dark you want your color if you want it really a muted you know like and you can test it on your surface or whatever but I, you know, if you're working and you want light colors, it's the way to kind of get your colors to be lighter because even a light misting of a dark color, it looks quite dark. So I find it's the way to control the level of pigment. If you're trying to just do a blush, like a faint color, like for shading and stuff, I find that if you're doing shading of a color, it tends to be very harsh quickly. So there's those little cuffs. So cute, this project. I see you it's wearing this outfit. Like if you have a friend who often wears an outfit that, you know, you could match that color of the outfit or design and just create something like that for someone. It's very cute. Or you, if you have a girlfriends, you could prep it all and invite them over and do a little decorating party. Yes. So um, ideally, if you're a beginner, you'd want this to crust over a little bit so that you could add like the guidelines. 
for the collar, but it's not so, so out there to be able to eyeball it. So I'm just gonna, I'm going to be doing that exactly, eyeballing it. So Jane, that's a, that's a great idea. So if you, yes, you can mix large, larger yes. quantities of special airbrush colors, just let's say you don't have certain color, you want to have a specific moss color or avocado yes. or something like that. Absolutely. So you, you can prepare them and just mix them and have them labeled in small bottles. They do sell small bottles that are convenient to use for this. So let's, let's say, here's, here's one for you. Let's say your airbrush color is empty. Well, you could put alcohol in it and the remnants remnants in that container will be activated by the alcohol that you add maybe you don't want to fill it up but if you add it like a quarter of the alcohol and you give it a good shake well you're going to revive the the sediment and what's dried around you know what i mean and then you get your light airbrush color and you can have it that way you, are you getting me you know like you're kind of using up your your empty bottle if you will okay so now I'm just, I'm looking here. If I look, you see the line. It's not that hard. I'm following, you see the hole. So I'm following, I'm going about a centimeter below. I'm going a little bit, and I'm following here. So I do have some reference point of how to pipe the collar. <laughs> centimeter is like less than half inch for those folks that don't know centimeter. So that's like a little less than half or quarter inch, you would say. Is it a quarter inch? No, it's like a half inch, no? Half, yes. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's about, a, let's say a third. Let's say a mm -hmm. third. So that's it. So you're using the hole as your guide and the outer perimeter as your guide to know where to pipe the collar, okay? Because we can't write on the icing, it was just piped. So I'm about here, I'm following the edge. I'm going past here the hole like that. And yeah. then, yes, but I yeah. think yes, I think it would be great. It would be great. You could do the, the the dress. I don't think there is nothing wrong with it, and don't feel awkward. And you can see here now. I'm I'm getting oh, the yeah. collar. You see, and it's above. And now immediately you want to flood this so that it doesn't um, get an outline. Right, you want the outline to heal into the flood icing. So this is a small tip. I'm working with the 1.5. I had switched to do the fine lines. So this is a 1.5. This is even smaller than that two that I flooded, but it's the same icing. So there. And you want to get this to heal your little jacket. So this looks very thick, this icing. So this is to avoid cratering and just have nice puffy finish well the that's it it's such a small area too well the reason too that it maintained like the ripples that you saw is because it was coming out of such a small hole right yes so off subject jeremy is loving your cabinet sally <laughs> There we go. So we're going to let, well, now you don't have to let anything crust over. You can just continue. So I decided to add a wiggly line to the edge here where the kind of the, the bust is. So just to give it a little interest, just a wiggly line, you can see. All these little details, they really add up, don't they? Like when you show it side by side, just the base layer and finished, it really such a difference, all these small details that they make it look. So, so for the bust, I'm just mm -hmm. doing basically like a B shape, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then like that. And then immediately. Like a, bird. like a bird, when you do the vector of the bird, like, yes. A, like, yes. And then I'm adding like a straight line up the center. And this is just like to look like the stitching, you know, like if it had um, boning. And then I'm following here, like going a little bit curved because it's like, you know, it's supposed to be a curved area. So I'm not adding straight, straight lines. My line broke here. 
It's not as well, Jeremy, I was feeling awkward saying it, so. <laughs> and now I'm just adding those little buttons on the side of the cuffs. Love it. But okay. that's it. I would definitely wear this with a big white hat. A big white hat? <laughs> yes. And a purse. I wonder what color purse. Yeah, maybe a um, a brown purse, light brown, like a brown purse, right? Here, like this, like this purse. Yeah, that that would work. Yes, that would absolutely work. And sunglasses, and I'm off to go. Just make me some shoes so I'm not barefoot. Yes, maybe you should wear some shoes. Here, I'll bring in some shoes. Here. Some Thank shoes. you, Alana. <laughs> Oh, you made shoes too. This is fantastic. So, yes, I would totally wear this. So here are the shoes. Um, I they did uh, um, dent a little bit. You can see here, and I had added supports, and the support I can see it here and here, but it caved around it. So the supports are good, but then sometimes it accentuates like where they kind of were added. So. This here is just granulated sugar on top of the of the freshly iced cookie. And just to give it, because the jacket, I wanted it to look a slightly different. So I just added that to give it like a different um, finish. Well, I would most likely not wear heels. I would probably go with sneakers. This is so stinking cute. I Thank you. Susan. Totally agree. It's so absolutely the whole, I think the whole friend of who is a fashionista, you know? Yes, a fashionista, yeah. yes. Absolutely yeah. love it. Awesome. So the whole video is going to be um, on the 1st of May, released in the Patreon group, like, uh, you know, like the edited, not, not this live replay, like an edited proper video, like normal. Exclusive tutorial. So that's what guys happening is happening in these um groups that we have we share content that um we give step-by-step -step instructions with narration and all the templates so if you are not following if you're not subscribed like i said you can subscribe this is marlin's patreon you can just type into the google patreon.com forward slash montreal confections I am exhausted. Why? Oh, no, no. no. Well, this was, this was, uh, the, the shirt was a little challenging, but uh, yeah, not, not as bad as the shoes, though. Not as bad as, it, but Sally, I mean, if you, because now we're on live and there's like time and stuff, but if you're alone yeah. doing it at your own pace, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a reasonable, okay, well, I'm not going to use the word you don't like, but it's a reasonable <laughs> easy, project. Easy. <laughs> it's a, uh, June, what did you think? Did you find it? It yeah, was ma a manageable project. Yeah, yeah. I have to. Hey, mm -hmm. June, are you hearing me? I'm trying to unmute June. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. there you go. I got there June. You can. Can you? Can you? Can you? Oh, oh. She, she got muted again. What's happening? I don't know. I'm trying. Oh, there. I don't know. Right. I, I can't. I feel like I lost something in the collar. That it looks like it's two separate parts at the top. So I'm not sure what I missed. Mine doesn't look like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because this line here yeah, is like this one here, slightly lower. You see that? I think that's it's because here. this one here is slightly lower. You see that? That's the, here. So do you, here, I'm gonna just mute it for a second. So here you can see that section is from the, the whole base layer and then the collar is slightly up. So that's where the difference is if you examine it there at the collar. So this is kind of lower. So that's that's the difference maybe. Ladies, don't feel uh, pressured. We would like to see your finished cookies. So I'm gonna put you on a big screen. And Sally can show us. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Very Thank nice. You. Love it. Do you have your jacket? 
Well, it's a little too dark. I think I'm going to do it again. It's great. I love it. Put some stars on it or something. This is yeah. very looks like denim. Looks perfect. Very nice. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Don't be so critical. Just well, you know, it's a different <laughs> color. It's I, I, yeah, I think it's cool. Very cool. So uh, Jerry wasn't aware that Sally ever gets tired. She produces so many cookies. <laughs> yes, she's right. Now I'm going to bring up June. So let's, can you hear? Oh. I'm trying oh, to, I don't know. Yes. Oh, hey. Little... So can you show us? Oh, that is cute. Oh, yes, yes. Very nice. June changed the colors. She used June the changed the colors. I love that. And the skirt is pink, right? It's such a great, I love it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Very nice. Very I think nice. Like with, a, with a, a very light, like pastel color, you could really add some shimmer to it and make it more like almost like chromish, like a like a gown. So what do we have? So let's see. All right. So Mar is back. My well, that's wife it. I'm, I'm done the project. I'm done the project. Uh, last last uh, spiel that. Uh, I posted um, some, some, I did a little sale for the month of May. So all these for Mother's Day are 25% off. This, this folks, if you are new to the, new to the live, all the, where do we have them? All of the Marlins, um, all of these are in the coffee shop, which is a platform that we use to sell templates and, cl and classes and such. So you're doing 20% off? 25. And um, so that's it. If you don't want to sign up for the monthly, you're not sure, well, you can buy them individually there. Yes. So you can see and just uh, just type in coffee. You see it on the screen, Mont coffees, Montreal Confections, and it usually comes up. Well, I put the address there and hands is there too. I put it there. So thanks everybody. Thanks, Sally. Thanks, June. Thank you. Thank you a lot. So it was great. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. I love my back wall. And you don't have to be jealous, jealous because you can do it too. <laughs> and maybe even better. Everybody's loving it. Beautiful work. Yeah, she's got her YouTube. Yes. 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 Well, it's been hidden in a box for so many years. I decided to show it off. <laughs> and well, yes, Julie, thank you for noticing. It's totally unplanned. <laughs> Again. Sally didn't get the memo. <laughs> I was like, Sally, because even June, June, we are matching, you know, yeah. we all, we are matching. I was so excited. Anyway, guys, so we are five minutes short of one hour, which is great. We are um, on schedule. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching us or watching Ladies Decorate. It was awesome. Thanks, was everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Thank We'll see you on Tuesday, guys. So Definitely. <laughs> have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye.